and welcome back to Cooking Up a Parable. I'm your host, Chef Heather. Today we'll be cooking up the parable of the Good Samaritan. Let me check my recipe book and see what I might need for this recipe. Uh, yes, a Samaritan, got that. Um, a Levite, okay, a priest, yes. Uh, a band of robbers, yes. Um, okay, I think we've got it all. Okay, so we'll start with the Good Samaritan. Obviously, it's named after him. Uh, then we have a Levite and a priest. Oh, and the injured person. The injured. Uh, a band of robbers. Oh, and, and I do have some bandages that they might need those. Okay, uh, let's stir up this parable, and we will simmer that for 30 minutes. While that simmers, let's say a prayer. God, thank you for your parables. Thank you for teaching us how you want us to live our lives. Help us to open our eyes and our ears to hear the lesson you would have for us today. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's see what this parable tastes like. Give me all your money. No. Ew, I don't want to get my robe dirty. Ah, oh, that is so gross. I want to be clean to make my sacrifice. I'm a Samaritan, and even though my family doesn't like Jews, I think I'm going to help them anyway. Here, let me help you. Okay. I'm going to bandage this up, and then I'll take you to the end. Miss Melanie, welcome to this episode of Cooking Up a Parable. Thank you. This was another delicious, exciting parable. What did you think of it? I tell you, I love parables. Jesus used parables to teach us because they're stories with a lesson. Mm -hmm. And this one has got a big lesson. And of course, it comes right out of the Bible, which is where we find all of these parables. And this one I'm really excited to talk about today because it's one that, that I think we can all learn a lot from. And this one comes from the book of Luke. And remember, if you don't know where books are in the Bible, it's okay. You just go to the front and look in the table of contents and it'll tell you exactly where it is. So let's go to the book of Luke and let's find chapter 10 and read verses 29 to 37 so that you can hear the recipe right from the Bible. But wanting to justify himself, he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? And Jesus replied, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of robbers who stripped him, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. Now by chance, a priest was going down that road and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side of the road. So likewise, a Levite, who, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, also passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, while traveling, came near him, and when he saw him, he was moved with pity. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, poured oil and wine on them. Then he put him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, and said, Take care of him, and when I come back, I will repay you whatever more you spend. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? He said, The one who showed mercy. And Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. Mm. Wow. So what you need to know about this is that a the Levites, the Jews, the Samaritans, they didn't, they didn't get along. No, Jews they didn't, and Samaritans, they, did, Jews not and like Samaritans did not get along. So that's why they, they thought, you know what, uh, he's, not, he's not one of my people. I'm going to walk right past him. But what happened was the Samaritans stopped and said, you know what, I need to show love to this person person. Well, it should, it should have been that priest and Levi. It should, should have been because you know what? They, they should be taking they care of should have been, Especially a priest. Yes. I mean, wow. But what this 
good Samaritan. This Samaritan knew was that God wanted him to love his neighbors. And he knew that the whole reason <laughs> that Jesus was telling this, the whole reason that Jesus is telling this is that everyone is your neighbor. Even if you don't agree with them, even if they're different with the, than you, the Samaritan, the Levite, the, they were all different. But he knew that even if they thought, they believed differently, they looked different, they were still his neighbor and he should show them love. So the first thing we learn from this is love your neighbor. And God wants everyone to be your neighbor. He wants you to show love and kindness to everyone. But the second thing that I really like about this parable that we don't talk about a lot is generosity. I want you to think about this Samaritan and how generous he was. He was generous not only by stopping, which took courage because people were probably thinking, what are you doing stopping? Did you? He might have gotten robbed too. He might have gotten robbed and beaten. Yeah. He didn't know if the robbers were still around. But he was also generous with his belongings. He put him on his, probably a donkey. Yes. He wrapped him up. He took him to an inn, which is like a hotel. And he, you know what a denarii is? That's money. He spent uh -huh. money to make sure that that man had a place to heal. And so he used his money, and then he went back and said, here, here's what I have, and then I'll come back and check again. I want this man to stay here until he's healed. That could have been a lot of money. So that could have been a lot of money. So he was very generous with his money, his time, his belongings, his own safety, because those robbers could have still been there. So God not only wants us to love our neighbors, he wants us to be generous with our neighbors. Because what is the very last thing that Jesus says? Go and do likewise. Wow. Do you know what Jesus, uh, Jesus wants us to learn from that? Is that he wants us to go and love all of our neighbors, treat all of our neighbors with kindness, and be generous with all of our neighbors. There's a whole lot in that parable. It is one of my favorites. So that's what we need to remember, the whole audience out there. Love your neighbor, but don't forget how important generosity is in this parable. Well, since you're standing next to me, you're my neighbor. Would you like to lick the spoon? And next time, she'll have another parable. No, thank you. That's very generous, but I have my own clean spoon. But thank you then so join much. join us next time for our next parable where we, where we will learn even more exciting things about what goes into the pot. Bye, friends.